When we look at the roadmap of new features that are constantly coming out, we kind of salivate at the fact that there's all of these things we want to touch. Being part of a cloud environment that already plugs into so much of that that we can leverage, it's one of the great reasons why we see that that relationship with AWS is so strong. Sony DADC has been around since the mid 80s. Right around seven years ago, a new division was created called New Media Solutions. So the environment that we have has roughly 20 petabytes of content, which is about a million hours of content. It's growing at about a petabyte a quarter. You really start to look at what does it take to be able to scale in a meaningful way. Where we started our focus in looking at kind of a cloud-based solution was we needed to make a decision about were we going to go all in cloud or were we going to stay where we were. The way we ended up at AWS is we really evaluated everything from an economic perspective. Uh, we obviously, from an infrastructure perspective, an innovation perspective was really important to us. The question that was posed to us was, how can AWS help you? And, and that was incredibly meaningful to us because that really shows a sign of somebody who's invested in making you a success rather than themselves a success. And so that really made it a very simple decision for something that we struggled with for so long. From going all in, one of, the, one of the biggest changes is there's a lot of pieces we don't have to worry about anymore, which is incredibly helpful. We've been enjoying a real boom with what we've been doing with CloudFront. One of the views of our world is that that model of distributing to thousands of endpoints will eventually no longer happen. Not because those endpoints go away, but because the world is going to move to a point where we're all just going to pull from a centralized repository. And very much in keeping with that mantra of trying to stay a couple years ahead, we are already offering that as a service. And that wouldn't be possible without the team from CloudFront. Everything that we do from a live playout perspective runs on Elemental. You have Elemental running on AWS, leveraging CloudFront, because those are the kind of groupings of solutions that make our ability to be able to move very quickly in this space so easy. We've taken that million hours of content and we've provisioned it in a way that if someone has the rights to use it, they can be up within an hour with all of that content in any format they want, with any DRM that they want, and streaming, whether that's streaming from a live playout perspective or for their own OTT service or broadcast. Just the other day, we had um, a, a launch with Funimation on a new platform, and we saw almost a 100 terabyte uptick in one day of streaming of content. And so we have been working very closely with them to redesign their post-production processes by leveraging all of the systems that we have that run on AWS. And it's only through the business logic that we've been able to put in place and leveraging that kind of scalable infrastructure have we been able to even achieve the goals that they've set out for. We used to have SLAs that were measured in days in our ability to turn large amounts of volume around. And now we measure that in an hour. Right? And that was just not something that was either economically or even physically possible in, in certain instances with an on-premise environment. I can now focus on opportunities that our clients are interested in or may not even have thought of yet so that we can be there when they're ready, as opposed to having to worry about putting more and more capital into just maintaining, and I can just I can stay ahead of that. A lot of the money that we were spending on huge capital investments for infrastructure were redeploying towards innovation and it allows us to move at a much more aggressive rate.